All right, we're gonna fire up some auto tunes here. One of the things we're gonna do is uh, there has been some confusion on what Husky has been talking about, the tuning cut and how the saw tunes itself and the type of cut that it has to be in order for that to happen. There was a, uh, a really, really, really good webinar about a week ago. They really explained this, they, and they admitted that some of the confusion that goes on with this stuff is, uh, is their own fault. You know, stuff, different stuff that was uh, put in some of the owner's manuals, you know, the, the matter of fact, it's not even in the owner's manual anymore because it was causing so much confusion. The low will set itself, you just let it idle for about three minutes, and the Auto-Tune 2 and the Auto-Tune 2 and a half, which is what the newer one is here, they sample at different rates. I mean, on the low speed, they're both going to like, it takes three minutes, it'll do a reset because it's, uh, it's sampling for three minutes, then it resets the low setting. And that is conditions, altitude, and you can't get better conditions than this. And so it takes into account the temperature and stuff like that. The older one was like three minutes and then another three minutes. I think the newer ones, I was like typing a question or something and I missed some of this. <laughs> so, so um, and then the new ones, uh, it'll sample three minutes for the initial and then more frequently after that. And of course your high speed, uh, it'll sample, I think every 45 seconds. But that one, that, that's what I was typing instead of listening. So, um, but the thing is, uh, you can't do cookie cuts to do that tuning set. Because, and they, they did contribute to some of that confusion because every time you drop out of the cut, you know, your throttle goes up and it, it has to start over because it has to sample, you know, you know a time t uh, space worth of... Uh, time interval. interval. Yeah, right. So you can't do that. So the idea is you just kind of do a cut. You bur bury the, you know, the tip of the bar in a few inches and then just walk down about a six foot cut and you probably hear it change when you do that. So we're going to try that. Let's just do the three minute idle on all three of those saws. Get them all fired up because my saw has not been run on a warm day. I don't yeah. know when yours were. So all these saws are gonna well, have the to other be one, This ain't been run at all, ever. Right. And that one probably hasn't been run in seven or eight years. And I don't remember what the temperature was that day, so. <laughs> so let's just fire them all up and let them idle for three minutes and we'll listen to it on the camera. Okay.
I said that was about as graphic as you could possibly get with a 5 to 5 As Bob pointed out, you can reset your saw doing that at the high speed.